follow the camera as it moves. They belong to me, not you, and you need to know that, man. Because I've been thinking about killing your stupid ass. I'll shoot you in your motherfucking face right now. I want to make sure when this movie is like no one's ever really comfortable for too long. I didn't want you to ever just be able to like just sit there and get like lost in it. Like I wanted there to be like that physical component, like you were having to ride with it or something. I thought that the movie should be based on something that was more like a pop song or something, more that had hooks and where there was like a catchiness to it. It was very quick and then it would just kind of disappear into the night somewhere. It was something that gets lodged in your mind and then bam, it just disappears. Skrillex and Cliff Martinez did the score together. Some sequences were just individually Skrillex or Cliff and then other things were combined. We would combine the two and it, it became a kind of like, almost like a collage. It was crazy. I literally never worked with anybody. Not anyone on the crew, not even the cinematographer, Benoit. I was a big fan of his and I needed someone that was innovative and was kind of magical and like viewed cinematography in a different way. And I was wanting to do things with colors and grain structure and just stuff that was this light lights and camera movement that was more kind of a game, you know what I mean? Like I told him, I was like, I want the movie to look like you just lit it with Skittles. The first week uh, when I was like working, working with my editor remotely, he wasn't even there. We weren't in the same place and it was really intense shooting the schedule and I was horrified. I was just like, man, I don't know if this is gonna work in, in this way, the way that I want it to. Pretty much didn't sleep and it, it was brutal. I think by day 10 or 12 or something like that, I saw that it could work, that the language was gonna work that once I was in there, it would all, that I could get it to do, be what I wanted it to be. Yeah, they found a paparazzi dude who burrowed himself in under the stairwell for a week, surviving only on fudge and uh, water. The people that say this film wasn't twisted enough are people that just want to see porn, really. Those are people that like want the films to be like NC-17, I would just want to see his movies just play in five theaters in America and like again it's like it's boring to me like I don't it's culturally boring it's stifling it's like you don't want to just affect the culture in this way that's like you don't want to just be hitting your head on the ceiling because people can't see your films I could so easily make this an indictment or an essay on vapid youth culture but I also find something interesting in that world too there's something poetic and exciting to me that's as well, so it's never one way. I try to make movies in my heart, you go with what feels right, so I felt like if the energy was pure and the rhythm was pure, that I was on the side of righteousness and I could do anything I wanted. <laughs> Nothing is right or wrong. Like once they become the character, once we're in the location and it is the movie, then it's all just becomes a decision that you make. And it's it's all kind of all perfect. And then sometimes the mistakes are the more interesting. So you, you set up a situation where anything can happen. And then you also express the fact that they need to be bold and go for it and you know, and that we're making movies, so they just do it. What if we just used you to come here? Spring break forever, bitches.